Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I am your host, Jason Turner. In this episode, I am going to cover the difference between adjacent view and slide view. And I honestly think this might be one of the more confusing parts of the C++23 ranges updates. So be sure to stick around for this episode. Okay, so I'm going to pick up right where I left off with this examples from zip views from the previous episode. And I'm going to start with adjacent. Okay, so the key point is that adjacent also returns a range of tuples of references to elements in a sliding window of these. So as you can see in the output here, I get one, two, three, because I've asked for three elements, then two, three, four, then three, four, five, then four, five, six. So I cover all of the elements in groups of three in a sliding window. And this is the exact same deal as the previous one, where I really should just be using a structured binding to simplify my use of this. And note, if I have a size mismatch here, I'm going to get a compile time error. This is a template parameter. You cannot decide at runtime. You must decide at compile time. And I am asking for three elements, but only destructuring two. So I'm going to change this to two, and we can see the sliding window, and I'll become one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five, six. Okay, that is adjacent. So how is it confusingly different than slide? So note that this is not compiling here because slide does not take a compile time parameter. It takes a runtime parameter. And it now, instead of returning a tuple, returns a range of ranges of references to elements. So you can see here, I have successfully printed out these ranges of ranges of elements. So slide we would look at it in this way in my opinion. We would want to use adjacent when we know what the sliding window size is at compile time and we would want to use slide when we don't know what the size of that window is at compile time. So that is the difference between adjacent and slide. They are very similar utilities, but clearly have slightly different use cases. Well, I guess slide could also be used when you simply just want a range back instead of a tuple of elements, which is definitely something to consider. Okay. Thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. We will have one more thing that we are going to be looking at in these C++23 ranges updates, so be sure to subscribe.